Hey, what's up? Today we are going to drive a robot using CMD well. I often wondered that how would a robot uh, move using CMD well because the robot does not understand CMD well topic directly. Well, today we will demonstrate this and we will run. Why you are so serious? Just chill and learn. Let's start. The required components are two motors and uh, motor driver L298 and ESP32 and this space. I, I made this space two years before but I never got a chance to um, work on it. Uh, these slots are for IR sensors. Well here is the repository that I have found which has the code of CMD well topic and you can burn this code into your ESP32 so you can download it from here and then you can paste it or extract it here uh, my, uh, you can see the location of this package micro ROS workspace firmware free RTOS apps apps and then here I have kept it so uh, it has the code which is explaining what is happening inside so we are using the four pins of ESP32 12, 13, 15 and 14 and uh, well now I am assuming that you have watched these three videos which ha which explain how to run a project into the ESP32 so I request you to please watch you can find their link in the description so here is the method to run a project in ESP32 you can start from here and follow the instructions that are given and until here so I have done the same here is my ESP32 micro ROS agent so what will I do I will connect or plug in ESP32 and run the command so my ESP32 is connected so what next we have to see the topic list or let's do ROS to topic list yes our CMD well topic is alive so now we will echo ROS topic echo cmd yes and now we need a publisher which publishes value of cmd well onto it so here is the package which publishes value onto cmd well you first need to install if you haven't and then you can just use this command yes we can move our robot around using these keys for example if i press i the ROS topic has the value of x which is 0 0.5 so let's talk about the circuit diagram so we have the esp32 which has these pin configuration we are using these pins 14 12 13 and from here 15 also you need to connect this ground pin to the ground of battery and l 298 n which is the motor driver so the circuit diagram is somewhere around this you will connect two motors around l 298 n which is the motor driver or plug in the 12 volt power and then you you can see from here this wire is going into the ground which is indicating a common ground and then the PWM pins we will connect them here but we are using different pins we will use 12 13 14 and 15 so let's get back to the robot well these are the two motors and we we, we have connected them into the L298 you can see here and these wires that are not connected these are actually the encoder spin 
we have nothing to with them and uh, these two are the motors so, and these wire these wires are the power wires and these are the signal wires which are further connected into the ESP32 here okay so we have connected the ESP32 inside so here is the 12 volt power supply so we will provide the power here and uh, ground should be common here so i know the circuit is not clean but please try to understand this and now we will come on to the laptop so we will press i and the motors are working so if i press comma they are moving backward so uh, if i press left and left and right they will follow my command opposite and opposite so we can also control their speed by pressing q we will increase the speed as you can see the speed is increased a little bit so we can increase and decrease their speed by pressing Q for increasing and Z for decreasing well we have very less space here but let me show you uh, yes uh, I have to decrease the speed Currently we have subscriber 1053 and I would wish you to please take it to 1100. I would be very thankful to you and thank you so much.